disk storage windows server 2008 support basic disk and dynamic disk so how to configure basic disk and dynamic disk just select start select run options type disk mgmt dot msc in my server have four hard drive disk 0 disk 1 disk 2 and disk 3 i recommend it to you where your install operating system you cannot change no need to change to dynamic because if your windows have some problem you never to revert if your hard drive in a dynamic disk so if you configure dynamic disk by default your hard drive is a basic disk it's in basic so you first we create convert the dynamic disk select the convert to dynamic disk we are having three hard drive so first you select in a dynamic disk what are the advantage of dynamic disk on the dynamic disk you can make a volume but if you work on basic disk you make a partitions partitions will not be merged any free space but in a dynamic disk to merge any free space different type of volume the first volume is simple volume second is a span volume third one is a strip volume fourth is mirror volume and last one is red file if in your computers having only one hard drive so just you create the simple volume this is a simple volume you select the space like a 5000 this is my drive is disk space now next now i format the drive select the format the drive and finish so by default this volume is called simple volume so for simple volume to need only one hard drive second if you make a span volume so for a span volume a span volume is made up of disk space on more than one disk create a span volume if you need a volume that is too large for a single disk you can extend a span volume by adding free space from the another disk so next if I add the another hard drive so you can add up to 32 hard drive so if I add this drive now next now next next and finish so if you using more than one hard drive in your computers and merge free space in existing volume so this is called a span volume so span volume but a span volume not support fault tolerance for a span volume to need more than two hard drive so this is the process but to make the span volume the disadvantage of a span volume if you crash any one hard drive if you crash your hard drive it means all the data lost you never to recover the data if you delete your volume so never to recover the data in a span volume so it, it is not support fault tolerance so third one is a strip volume a strip volume the store data is strips on two or more disk a strip volume give you faster access to your data than a single span volume so when you create the strip volume at least you need two hard drive and if you put up here thousand so it use the same space on the both hard drive now next and after that next this is the process for to create the strip volume a strip volume does not support fault tolerance means if your hard drive is failure all data will be deleted 
third one is make a mirror volume mirror volume, volume is also called red one mirror volume duplicate your data on two disk create a mirror volume if you want to keep to separate copy all your information to prevent data loss next so for mirror volume at least you need two hard drive this is also called disk duplex sheet so if i put a few 5000 disk space so the one disk it's showing 5000 one disk space we use as a backup so this is the process for to make a mirror volume the advantage of mirror volume it support fault tolerance it means if one hard disk is failure the data is available on another hard drive so this is very very advantage for this disk concept when you make the file server when you make the database server in your small organizations so if if i select the f drive if i make any folders on this drive After that, then right click on this drive, select explorer, the same data on this disk. Again, if I select another drive, if I select explorer, same data on this disk. It means on the both of the disk, there is stored the data. So suppose that if your one disk is failure, so how to check your data is available. So right click on this break the mirror volume select yes after that I change both the drive as a simple volume then right click on this and delete volume finally if you check here right click explorer all the data is available you, are, you can also check from my computers this is the G drive your data is available so this is the advantage of mirror volume so that it means if you work in if you make a file server so you must be create the mirror volume thank you for viewing this video